so the turbo is all taken apart bunch of carbon buildup and uh, everything needs to be cleaned up here and I have a rebuild kit uh, so I'll be installing new bearings on this thing but both uh, turbine and compressor uh, shafts are looking really good so I'm happy about that and uh, right now I'll just take this guy out all the way Ooh, that's a lot of carbon buildup shaft okay let's look at it a lot closer mm, I think it looks pretty good I mean it has some scoring in the wear but I think it will pass so I opened it up pretty much on time um, just to remind you guys this is a Garrett T3 uh, turbocharger okay and uh, yeah this thing needs to be cleaned up really good yeah all right guys so this is my turbocharger kit this is the one that came off of this car and this is actually original to the car because I saw a 1985 mark on this Garrett T3 turbocharger and uh, when I took this turbocharger off uh, this thing was super filthy everything was uh, covered like this part right here was covered in carbon buildup and this and I had to scrub everything off and right now it looks everything so nice and you know all these parts were you know washed and also this uh, front of the uh, compressor housing and stuff like that so I mean I'm pretty excited about that I'm really happy and uh, yeah this thing is coming along uh, all the bolts and the hardware was all cleaned up and right now I'll be ready to rebuild it I have a rebuild kit and it comes with gaskets uh, new bearings uh, you know a couple of seals and snap rings and uh, this part right here okay so um, you know and I'll, I'll not be sh I won't be showing you everything you know step by step I just uh, just kind of like a you know an update for you guys of what I'm doing uh, and I'm also uh, in the meantime also cleaning the uh, uh, the intake manifold and also the exhaust manifold to make it all nice uh, and then yeah I'll be once I'm done rebuilding this turbo I'll show you how everything is at the end um, and hopefully I don't have any more play um, you know on this uh, uh, shaft hopefully um, even though I kind of tried one of these bearings on um, and uh, it just uh, feels like it's something still not right it feels like it's still got play and looseness oh boy I can't even take this thing out Wow, that's crazy. Okay, there you go. Oh, finally, congratulations. Okay, so yes, yeah, so this bearing would go right here, and this shaft actually looks really good. I mean, I don't see any any scoring pretty much on this shaft. It looks pretty good in my opinion, and uh, you know, obviously when I'm installing everything, I'll be putting oil right here, just kind of or assembly lube. But I don't have assembly lube, so I'll be using oil. So, anyways, I'll put it all back together and then I'll get back to you uh, at the end and we'll see how things are. Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. It's pretty late, as you can see, and dark, but I just wanted to shoot this video to show you uh, something. Uh, I'm actually working on my turbo drain. I'm actually, uh, you know, uh, I can't miss this because, uh, you know, I have the turbo out and I have a lot of other things that I'm doing to this engine and all that stuff. So, you know, and then I saw this uh, 
turbo drain and uh, you know it looks like somebody's been working on it before uh, and but uh, you know it's still kind of seeping just a little bit of oil so I need to take it out you know and uh, the funny thing is that I already replaced the oil pan gasket on it and I cleaned that oil pan from the inside and all that stuff and painted it and I really I really don't want to drop the oil pan again because I also replaced the oil in this thing and filter so I'm gonna show you uh, what I did and how I actually took that drain uh, turbo drain tube out of the oil pan without actually dropping it so you can actually do it yourself too you just need some patience and all that stuff also depends on how hardened uh, that seal is uh, that you're working with so uh, anyways let's go to the video I'll show you really quick guys thanks for tuning okay guys I'm sorry I'm shooting really late um, and dark it's actually not late but it's it's dark right now uh, anyways, I'm finishing up with this engine. I uh, just put the downpipe back in and then tomorrow probably I'll probably bolt up the turbo tomorrow uh, Right now. I just wanted to share with you. Uh, I removed the uh, Turbo drain tube and I actually did it without removing the oil pan um, I'll just give you some tips. Okay, let me show you the tube the tube first um, and uh, uh, I'll just tell you how I did it all right guys so here's the tube it's pretty funny uh, because what I did at first is I tried to actually uh, put some clamps and carefully clamp you know uh, bolt up these clamps and just try to like pry up on this but it wasn't working you know and um, actually I didn't gouge this this is from previous owner but it seems to be um, I don't know hopefully this thing is not leaking from here but anyway so uh, this was replaced at some point because the seal is fresh it's actually soft okay the seal is soft and stuff like that but it was leaking so and plus I was here anyways doing all this work here so I'll uh, you know I'm definitely uh, you know I can't miss this I have to uh, take it out and replace the seals and stuff like that but the tube itself seems to be fine it's not really like bent or anything like that so I'll definitely reuse it um, and then also um, so this clamp method wasn't working so I actually went on the you know I went on the bottom and I'll show you what I actually did this is where the turbo drain is uh, located this is where the tube goes to right there I'm about to plug this thing up with uh, some clean rag that way no dirt gets in there or anything like that okay and uh, uh, let me just share a couple thoughts with you so what I did is this steel was like that right on the bottom so I just started uh, using I, I grabbed a screwdriver and just started uh, moving the seal out and once I pushed the seal out It's pretty amazing actually it started coming out So but the thing is that if your seal is hard you will have to like use a pick Okay, you'll have to use a pick and just try carefully, you know, like uh, move it piece by piece I uh, start breaking off this uh, Seal uh, if it's hard and then eventually you'll be able to just pull it right off without removing this oil pan Okay, uh, so the only thing is, uh, you know, just be careful when your seal is hard and start picking on it. Uh, some chunks might fall into the pan, but maybe you'll get lucky. Maybe, maybe you'll be fine. But in my case, the seal is soft, so somebody replaced it, but they probably didn't do a good job or something because it was still leaking. So I'll be cleaning everything up, replacing these two O-rings and uh, this O-ring. I already took this O-ring off, by the way. That's why it's not here. But yeah, I'll be replacing all this, uh, the seal and two O-rings on this and also clean this up and paint this nicely uh you know before installation so a couple of tips for you guys hopefully that helps out you know and uh, like i said i'm i'm doing so much work uh to this car uh and uh, engine and all the other stuff as you can see the uh, down pipe is all nice and looks like new and uh, what i did is i actually cleaned it all up and painted it with the high heat paint it's it's so beautiful uh doing a lot of work to this baby uh, before i ship it to my dad so anyways guys uh, i'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab some rag or not rag just uh, something clean like a paper towel i'm just gonna plug uh plug that hole okay where that uh tube sits so anyways that's it for right now all right everything is 
nicely plugged up down there no dirt will get anywhere that's great and tomorrow i'm also going to replace this engine mount i'm waiting on a couple of parts and yeah it's pretty exciting guys everything has been cleaned up the intake manifold has been cleaned up and everything uh, exhaust manifold all the heat shields were cleaned and you know painted and stuff like that so it's pretty amazing you know this car is coming along you know we have to put love to these amazing old school uh, mercedes so yeah pretty happy about that and i'm just uh happy in general you know that uh you know uh, the work never stops you know and there's always uh better and better things that uh i do to this car so that makes me happy as well and motivated and stuff like that so Alright guys, so here's how the tube looks. So this is the top part and this is the bottom part. As you can see, there's a lot of pitting. So I cleaned off the rust with a, a wire wheel and I sanded the whole thing and then I painted. As you can see, I didn't paint the bottom and top completely because oil will be here so there's no need to. Uh, okay and then i just painted this thing and as you can see it's pretty beat up a little bit here but as of right now i don't have time right now i have to you know put this thing back together as soon as possible and everything is good nothing is leaking here it's just uh it sucks that this thing is all pitted a little bit so once i install new seals i might have to add just a little bit of rtv and then wait like 24 hours until it like all uh dries up and stuff so i can actually you know it can actually seal up no problem but other than that everything is good this thing is not bent you know some like i said somebody uh, has been here before you know they've been they, you know these marks and scratches and dents are not from me someone else has been trying to take it off in the past so So the tube is installed and the way you install it is just to set it in there and then you work the seal down into the hole all the way around okay and make sure you put some oil on the seal so it goes easier yeah, it's not really a big deal so it was pretty simple Right, guys so i'm finally done almost done on this side uh putting everything back together painted uh cleaned and painted the exhaust downpipe uh put back all the heat shields and stuff like that also cleaned up and painted uh you know the intake manifold and exhaust manifold it was actually a pain a really big pain to clean the intake manifold from the inside it took me forever to do that um and then i, I installed it uh gasket intake manifold uh, exhaust manifold gasket here's the turbo okay so 
Uh, the story with the turbo is that I took it apart, rebuilt it, uh, and cleaned it up. There was quite a bit of carbon buildup in there. But the sad part is that the rebuilt kit did not help, you know, so there's still some play, um, you know, on the, on the shaft itself, which really sucks. But, uh, you know, the problem is probably with this shaft. So basically, though, there, there actually, there are two bearings inside and that's where the shaft rides on. And those two bearings were spinning, actually. I could, I could tell they were spinning, the old bearings were spinning inside the shaft and they wore the shaft down. Uh, the, the shaft itself was good, you know, but um, the bearings themselves were spinning inside the bore. So the bore itself got worn out and then when I installed new bearings and everything, they were still playing and which sucks, you know, I'm really upset about that. But I'm happy that I cleaned it all up and made it nice and good and everything installed new um, uh, gaskets for the, you know, for this line and then there's the, the drain, uh, you know, tube gasket and all that stuff and new engine mount right there. So it's pretty good, you know, and I started up, everything is great. The starter is amazing, no issues with the starter as well. And then as far as the EGR valve, as you can see, I cleaned it all up, painted it, made it nice. And then uh, I'm gonna plug it up, okay? So the EGR is not gonna be working at all. Ooh, it's crazy wind today. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start installing everything back, okay? This uh, uh, U-tube right here and stuff like that, so.